What's up guys, Jermaine here. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. If you've been here before, as always, welcome back. So what I wanna to talk to you guys today is about uh, when exactly is the best time to start investing in the stock market. Um, so that's something I wanna discuss with y'all here today. So the easiest answer to it is essentially right now. Now is the best time to starting. Don't wait, not till tomorrow, next week, or till you get your tax returns, or till you get that settlement money, or till your auntie gives you that money that she owes you or something. Start today. Um, because as time goes on, the stock market gets more and more expensive every day, especially in today's climate where you know it seems like the bull market is just never ending. So essentially, you don't want to wait you know, until later on or try to wait till that company goes down in value or you feel like certain certain things are overpriced um, because on average the stock market gains about eight percent every year now these last few years the stock market has been blowing up insanely and the gains have been ridiculous but um if you would have just started like say like back in 2009 and you would have just held on today and this was at the bottom of the uh, last crash you would have essentially tripled your money anything you would have put in there you would have tripled your net worth probably even more by today because uh, the gains that we received this year has been just so high so every day that you sit out of the market it gets more and more expensive especially if you choose to keep that money that you should be investing in in cash because you would lose value to that money by just simply inflation every year because the money that you have sitting in say a savings account most savings accounts now is not even giving you the two percent on what you were act on what you would need to actually keep up with inflation so every year that money would be losing in value so the key is to it is simply time in the market is better than try to timing the market meaning just if you were to invest into something today and just let it hold and sit there your chances or your returns would be better than say you trying to time the market now you may be able to get it once or twice to just catch that particular stock or company at the bottom and then you ride the whole rise up with it but that's very far and few in between because most times it's kind of essentially like trying to catch the falling knife and you're more than likely to get cut by doing that for example just earlier this year 2019 um, back in the summer Tesla stock was in complete free fall and it went from like over three hundred dollars a share down to around 170 a share now if you were somebody that would say well I'm just gonna buy the dip buy the dip well from 300 to 170 that's a huge loss especially if you was buying it on the way down you was buying it constantly keep getting cut keep getting cut on the way down trying to buy this stock but if you you know just bought held it waited it out and yes do buy on the way down you know because you can get great value out of you know particular companies that you may like you know especially something like tesla um and if you're able to you know stomach the volatility yes you can have great returns off of that but essentially just timing the market and staying in and not trying to you know time the market you would still get better returns because even today now it's up over four hundred and twenty dollars a share essentially so the way that I do it essentially is like I would buy into an index fund, a low cost index fund, something that tracks the S&P 500. And every year I take my tax returns and I automatically just deposit it in there. I don't do nothing else with that money. I don't sit there and go try to pay off any debt or go buy any fancy clothes or cars or anything that I don't need because essentially that is money that I didn't have in the first place it was something that was given back to me because I overpaid in my taxes throughout the year so whatever that number is I get back every year I deposited that in the beginning of the year into my um, low cost index fund that tracks the S&P 500 and I don't try to time the market with it I don't sit there and try to wait for dips or whatever to buy I don't care how high it is or how low it is I just do that consistently every year year after year 
and with that I gain value from it I do want to say um, one disclaimer here is that you know I'm not a, a professional to give advice or anything I'm just a guy on YouTube that's giving entertainment um, but I hope it's something that you can gain value from if you find that this video or this information is uh, you know useful but helpful give it a thumbs up and share it with one of your friends and until next time peace